This is Brad with Comic Experience Sci-Fi. Thanks for joining us on Podcast 14. This show is huge. No exaggeration. Seriously. With us, we have a special guest, Jill Janis, the ever-huge uh, Mark Myers, uh, Doc Denver, our man on the board, and Howdy. our famous, seen him twice in the movie, Richie Rollins. Hello, Hello. Richie. And the biggest... I went there. The biggest Batman fan of all times, including in this Literally. room. Q. Yes, dun, dun, yes, dun. yes. We all know what this podcast is about. <laughs> this yeah, podcast we some is trailers, about comics. We see some other crap. Now let's get to the good yeah, stuff. This, <laughs> well, well, it's oh. about comic experience sci-fi, dude. Yeah, when we, it's not about something else. No, we got to quickly get through the news here. Mm, the news. So we can get right to the main Anybody event. Anybody the main topic. The much-awaited movie. Much talked about. Yes. We okay. might as well call this Batman and Superman beer and sci-fi. Yes. Okay. And now for the news. Thank <laughs> you, <Mark. laughs> The Atari Vault, which is about 100 of the classic uh, Atari video games, oh. has been released for the PC at 20 bucks a pop. So you can get all the vintage games. The reason I brought it up is most of those early games are sci-fi yeah, but, related. but... I'm a two gamer. months ago, two months ago, Atari released um, a little looks like a twenty six hundred, and it doesn't take cartridges. Everything's programmed inside, and you couldn't you could I mean, it, they couldn't keep them on the shelves. Is all I'm saying. I've got an original, and I got a ton of games. Some of them are even unopened. I still I have mine. Yeah, twenty six hundred. I don't even know why they're bothering. Well, it's. I think it's for the the new kids coming up oh, yeah. that don't oh. have those systems, you can, okay. yeah, and they're hard to find. And it's all through Steam, so you can play those on any oh, computer. You just log in and you okay. can access, so you don't have to carry around this for right. Well, if you case. if you recall our um, our uh, episode, our video at uh, Legends of Howl, he's got a, a, a four player double console at twenty five cents a game. Uh, so people can get the feel of what it was like when we were kids playing a quarter yeah, arcade. Retro style. And it's all those games. It's all those Atari, Capcom games and, and all that. So that's good news. That's good news. Everybody should be playing more more video games, eye-hand coordination. Galaga. That's all that matters. Keep them off the street. Yeah. Yeah. Galaga. Galaga, Galaga was was the video games. Galaga and Centipede. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. Yeah. Okay, Chris Pratt put out a fundraising video. Oh. I think it's through Omaze. So if you go online, you can bid. If you win, it's basically uh, a day with Chris Pratt on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So even if you don't bid, though, check out the video because it's really funny. Chris Pratt has some fun with it. Why, so, I should try so to win. It's for, so it's for charity? <laughs> it's for uh, yeah, charity. it's for charity. It's a oh, fundraiser. Okay. I think it's for a hospital, children's hospital. Oh, I okay. like him even more. Now. Like the one that just opened in Troy. That's great. Yes. Okay, That's cool. great news. Finally. Mm-hmm. Good okay, news. Monday, <laughs> Monday is the Monday. Supergirl Flash crossover. Right. Yes. I'm actually excited about that. that. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, that looks real good. So that will be the Flash will be on Supergirl. Supergirl, yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm really interested to see if they actually next season take the Supergirl and put her into the darker universe with Arrow and Flash. I think they were teasing the fact uh-huh. that there was going to be more crossover. So whether or not Supergirl will be going over. Right. Because obviously CBS is the bigger network, right? So, you know. Well, you know, to me, the Flash and Supergirl works. I don't know how Arrow would kind of fit in. The Arrow that. barely works with a Flash. Yeah, because Supergirl. he's so right. serious and so yeah. dark. Felicity Smoke works with Flash. Flash. Well, yeah. Yeah. Arrow doesn't Arrow work with, with Flash. Black I don't know though. how. I think Ella. just trying to mingle. I everywhere. thought she was dead. She hasn't been through the. She, she's she's. The, well, we never really spoilers, yeah. But I don't know how that huh? would No, it's the other canary. Work. The other canary is the live sister, and the dead canary is the dead You're late, sister. man. The what? other canary is on Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but she went into oh, the, the, the Lazarus, the Lazarus okay, pit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I knew that, but technically she's dead. <laughs> No, I never okay, let's get back on track. We got a whole holiday work. about that, don't we're we? Pissing Come away up. our Batman versus oh, Superman. Oh yeah, piss each other off and get mm, back on track. It. Okay, th- it was a pretty slow news week, which is actually good for us. Good. Uh, but this weekend, however, was WonderCon uh, right. out in LA, mm-hmm. and so there's been a ton of stuff coming out uh, from that. 
one of the first things was the Voltron teaser, which is going to oh, be up, right. coming up awesome. on Netflix. Did you guys have a chance? Rich, did you see that? Yeah. We got, uh, I love the animation. I like they kept it that way. It was sweet. Yeah, you could tell they're using computer animation, but they're doing it the old anime style still. Yeah. So it kind of keeps that retro feel to I it. I wanted to go in my attic and look for Voltron now. <laughs> did, <laughs> I know it's up there. Did anybody watch Voltron? I refuse to talk about this as we have no. will not talk about Power Rangers. We talk about Power Rangers, oh, yeah. just not in a positive light. I'm, I'm <laughs> that's going to change. That's going to change. I'm not talking change. about this. I'm not talking about this. Well, if it's, if it's any consolation to you, I have no interest in talking about Voltron because a bunch of people getting together to be a big-ass wolf is kind of lycanthropy or some <laughs> bullshit. I have no idea. Robocanthropy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Robocanthropy, right. Okay. Uh, also at WonderCon, we had a bunch of trailers come out. Uh there was two horror films. Yep, saw the horror. Yeah, Brad, I know you're not a big fan. Don't like the horror because I can't watch it with my wife. But The Conjuring <laughs> 2 That trailer. actually looked good. The the, the Brits are that always funny like when it comes to... Um, Did you say funny? Brits? Brits? I love British humor. Com uh, but he yeah, said comics, horror. Brits, and sci-fi. It's <laughs> because The Conjuring 2 is they're saying... There's a, there's a quote from the trailer that says, this is Britain's Amityville. Because the house is being possessed and the little girl is talking like a 72-year-old man and it's creeping everybody out. Crikey, you know, I think I'm possessed horror. by a ghost. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> well, what I Who liked doesn't about, love the Brits? Everybody what I liked loves about this trailer was that the either. first one was just kind of a, they teased the story of the girl being possessed, yeah. which we've seen a million times over. This one, they actually brought in the storyline with the Warrens, you know, and how some demonic force is coming after the husband so that kind of gives it a little bit of a yeah i mean know, it wasn't it wasn't vibe. bad it wasn't certainly wasn't as bad as that other one. Oh, what was the name of that the lights uh, out lights out yeah. yeah didn't care for that well what's interesting about that is that was based on a short film from 2013 oh, I didn't that, that. kind of became an internet sensation and so uh the james wan the director of conjuring 2 in his oh. panel, introduced that trailer as oh, nice. well because okay. he's the producer. So he saw the short online, said, "Hey, let's you know, let's yeah. turn this into." I mean, a it's just film. extra special, creepy when this woman, there's there's thirty seconds of this woman clicking a light on and off, and it's all on her, and you don't know want it's going click click, and she's looking, like she doesn't understand what she's seeing. Click 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 click, and then it looks from her perspective. She turns the light off. There's somebody in the doorway. She turns the light on. There's nobody there. The hairs on the back of my neck are going up, and I don't want to watch that trailer anymore. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, I, if you like that sort of thing. Okay, we had a couple other so trailers. It, <laughs> it is very it was, effective. Yes, it, it looks good. It so looks if it scared good. Brad and he don't want to see it, it means it's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we had the uh, the the full trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Now, that's very much like... The trailer that they showed for Batman versus Superman as a preview—that's what we saw. I, that's what you sh what you have linked on the Facebook page. Is yes, exactly what they showed in the theater. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. So that must have been where they debuted it. Yes, they didn't and show it in my theater. Oh, I didn't see it either. Oh, but they yeah. showed it. I was getting popcorn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I gotta say, I didn't like the first one much, but. Th all the trailers that right. I've this, seen for this, this one, one look great. Right, this, this one, one brings is, in yeah. Casey Jones. He meets uh, April, April, yep. April, April, um, and of course the, uh, the 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 two ridiculous hoodlums are in it, and it's Be even better than ever. Rocksteady. I right. think it's, I think this one is going to be better than the first one. I'm still not too high on it because they screwed up the origin for it. So well, I'm this just, could be the redemption. And they've got Beastie Boy it. soundtrack. How bad could it be? Can't go wrong. It's the so best did, ever. Did so did Payne. Did you guys see you the did? clip from the Kids Choice Awards? No, where they had the Cure. Where they're driving the bus and oh. the, the arms come out and they have these big, huge nunchucks. Uh-uh. I didn't see that. Oh, my God. It looks so bonkers. I was like, <laughs> yes, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> nope. Okay. The other uh, big trailer that came out this week no. is the Lego... Batman movie trailer. Well, look at there. Batman <laughs> wins again. He's won twice this weekend. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Well, obviously, okay. they, they, I win. they timed it perfectly <laughs> that was great. so that 
you know, it, it kind of rides the the wave, wave of, of Batman versus Superman. Yeah. yeah. So what was, was the everyone's general feedback? Looks good. Yay, nay. I, I got have not Batman seen the Lego on the movie yet. You still haven't seen the Lego movie? I still have movie? not seen the Lego movie yet. Oh, you got to so see it. At this point, expect. that's totally I don't lame, think dude. Lego it can go wrong, man. It was one of the best man. movies ever. I'm going to have to they, watch them. They yeah. Rich, did, like, put down the mic. Go home. Go watch home. Watch the movie. <laughs> Get out Come of here. back and tell us what you think. <laughs> uh, I think, I don't Everything think Lego. Everything is awesome, Rich. Yeah, I don't Come think on. Lego can go wrong. Like, they've. They could have did a Lego Star Wars, and it still would have been just as huge. Like, well, what's interesting is that they technically do have all these really low budget TV. Yeah, Lego they do. Shows. They, they do, do Lego Star Wars. Yep. They do Batman, Man, and Superman. Superman. But these are obviously they even more... have Lego Marvel on Netflix. Yes, they <laughs> do. My kids love it. And yeah, my whole awesome. thing Ninja, is they have the right Lego. There's a bunch of them. All this stuff. I just and they chose to use Batman over Marvel, so fuck you, Marvel. But you know what makes it good is the voiceovers. I want to see some good people play the voiceovers. Well, that's like when Will like, Arnett came hear, out for wanna, Jimmy Fallon was like, "I'm Batman." He was like, "I want to hear Adam West on there Batman. at least once, at least once." Well, well, Batman Lego Batman was absolutely hysterical. Oh, I'll get this, and he throws the batarang and he misses like ten times. And then finally hits it and he goes, got it, first shot, first shot. <laughs> I like, he's like putting the lobster in the microwave and he's like, 20, no, that's stupid. <laughs> Two, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I deserve this. I deserve this tonight. <laughs> well, they also put out uh, the trailer, or the uh, along with the trailer, they put out the poster and a bunch of stills so you can find those on our Facebook page. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Get a little bit more in depth. And, and uh, lastly, when it comes to new trailers, we have Thunderbirds Are Go. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's going to be on America. The oh, yes. Wrong movie. Wrong they, movie. <laughs> the inspiration for Team America was the original Thunderbirds, and so this is a computer animated version. They look very similar to the puppets. They do. Uh, I'm just going to take Team America instead. America! But it lacks that charm yeah! of the marionettes, how they moved Time and everything. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the animation, you lose that retro kind that of really, vibe. Yeah, it. but it looks okay, I guess. All right, so uh, before we jump into uh, our Batman versus Superman talk, <laughs> right. uh, let's all do our little tasting here. Mmm, tasting. Taste, taste. Do, let's do the, okay, the we're gonna, darker, the, the orange one. The Samuel Smith's Organic Cider, produced from organically grown it apples. It like my dirty underwear. Mmm. Oh, that I'm broke. sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, you have delicious smelling underwear then. Wait a minute. Is that what we've been smelling when you've been coming here? <laughs> I wonder why I was always thirsty around I thought I thought you were just sticking apples up your ass. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Our secret has been revealed. I got Granny Smith. I, that's, up my that's a lot of apples. <laughs> Are you doing enemas with this stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they got coffee enemas. Now they got yeah, apple they enemas. Apple enemas. Now this, uh, this that uh, what is it? Organic. Sam Smith. Yeah, Sam Smith's organic. That is English yep. hard cider. Product of United So Henry Cavill loves this cider. Yes. So I figured in his honor we'd drink a little English. Five uh, percent ABV. What is Soul it? Soul Agents Marchant de Vincor, Seattle, Washington. Wrong side of the country for that this, one. This one tastes a little bit more like wine than it's more tangy. Yeah, I like, like it. One. No, the darker the uh, this has kind of a uh, a darker almost orange. Kind of feel yeah. to it. Huh. Now I know it's what like drinking my underwear feels like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's sweet. It's it's it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot sweeter than. Yeah, the it other tastes one. like a wine, sweet wine, mm -hmm. like white grape. That's mm. sweet, like yeah, yeah, good with that. Yeah, you All probably right. couldn't eat. You probably couldn't eat. Probably couldn't drink more than one or two of these. Okay, now we also have uh, to represent Ben Affleck and Batman. We've got some Blake's hard cider, which is mm. right here from uh, I love Michigan. Blake's. Local. Oh, Blake's is I love great Blake's. cider mill. Great cider. So, and this is I like almost a clear. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very sec. Like a wine. Yeah. This looks. It's like more it's sour. Yeah. This is. It's. Toilet. It's. It's a little more tart. A little more dry. Yeah. Not as. Not as. Definitely not as sweet. Oh yeah, I taste the Blake's apples. Yeah, definitely. and, and <laughs> this this has an aftertaste on the back of your tongue. Mark's apples. I mean, Blake's apples are very good. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You don't want Mark's apples when he's done with them. I just need to tell you. <laughs> you don't want Mark's apples. Blake has better apples. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you might you might just get a worm. <laughs> Well, how about those bag of apples? Uh, well, you know what they say: one apple spoils a bunch. So, <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, Michigan, or made in Michigan. We got they got orchards everywhere over there. Yep. So, represent. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good I like stuff. it better actually. I'm not even representing the flavor. I like it. You like the light one better than the dark one? I like the. I like flakes. the light one better than, yeah, than the, better than the, the underwear. That would be oh, flakes. it is. It's more sour. All right, yeah, so I'll I guess it's right unanimous. Right. We're we're going I'll with take the, the home. We're the going hometown. local. Yeah, baby. Good old home Blake. team, man. Home go, team. Go, go sell, pick some apples up there. All right, so let's uh, jump in to my big fat Greek wedding too. <laughs> she gets knocked out by the ball. My big fat Greek <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> didn't the first one just leave theaters like yesterday? I didn't even know she had a kid. Now she's got a daughter getting married. Well, well that movie was like made like 15 years, 16 years ago. Are we yeah. really about to see her? How was? I was old enough to I get started married at the already. The theater. I remember it was in it. It's like a the time warp like over a year. I think they're saying it is t- like 20 years they're gone talking by, about but it's only been like 16. What the hell is wrong with y'all? This is garbage beer sci-fi. Mm-hmm. We can hear about that shit because it's sci-fi because they're time warp in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's I'm trying to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm grabbing at straws. I have no idea. You know, I'm it's, just playing it's along. Beer because they have Greek beer in the movie. Okay. Yeehaw! Now you're Jeez. talking. Okay. Actually, before we get to Batman and Superman, I just wanted to uh, talk Jackasses. about one last thing. Yes, sir. Uh, Gary Shandling oh, died this week. Oh, that was very week. sad. Actually, was on my way to see Batman versus, versus Superman, Superman when I got the the text right. alert. And uh, most people probably aren't familiar mm. with his early TV shows. Uh, what is, it's TV Gary Shandling show. show. Gary Shandling show. And then yeah. Larry Sanders. Yeah. Um, well, Gary Shandling show is better than Larry Sanders, in my opinion. But what do I know? I. I won't disagree, but uh, uh, I think most people think that the Larry Sanders is the better show. But uh, but but the irony is he had the chance to take the Tonight Show instead of Jay Leno. You know, yes, that, right? Oh yeah, and well, that's what he based Larry Sanders exactly, off of. Exactly, exactly. So he still did the the Tonight Show, even though he didn't do the Tonight Show. It yes. could have been the Tonight Show with Larry Shandling, and and Johnny would have given it to him easy and earlier. The only reason why it waited until um, the early 90s was because Gary Shanley didn't want the show. Yep. He, he actually guest hosted way more than, uh, than Jay Leno, and the, the ratings were better. But for whatever reason in his life, he wasn't ready to do it. Well, I don't think he wanted to. You know, you're kind of confined to that formula. Of, yeah. you know. you take the I think show Jimmy Fallon show has shown us that the Tonight Show it's Sucks. has nothing to do with it. Wow. It's whatever. It doesn't. The show, the Tonight Show, oh, is Jimmy nothing Allen. like well, what I grew he up with. Well, that's because reinvented it. Right, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, why could New York? <laughs> but Gary Shanley could have done the same thing. Is all I'm saying. I love He's Jimmy Fallon. He's Hydra. entertaining. I can watch him every. Okay. Well, day. you know what? That's true. I forgot about the Hydra part of it. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> oh, I am gonna say, yeah. What he? Yeah, hell Hydra. <laughs> yeah. I'm so thinking. Hell, I'm like, hell, I could have swore he was Hydra. That's why I kind of shoehorned him in, is because most people probably know him from Iron Man Two, and then uh, Winter Hi- Soldier. Yeah, he put the pin on him. It was like funny how the little and he like flipped off Tony probably. Stark thing. Fuck you, yeah, Tony Stark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I could have swore he, he wanted was the, He wanted the Iron Man suit. Yeah, I'm like, he was Didn't Hydra, right? So they're going to show the Larry Sanders uh, HBO show that uh, he did. They're going to start rerunning that soon. And they're going to have a Hydra flag on his <laughs> coffin. <laughs> <and> Subliminal <laughs> messaging. Subliminal messaging. Every Hell episode Hydra. you hear him say, Hell Hydra. Hell Hydra. <laughs> 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 so Larry, this Larry. show has been paid for by Hydra. <laughs> As long as, as long as we don't have to look at the stupid red ass skull, I am so so over that guy. Seriously, Hellboy? Well, there's no Hydra yes. without. No, the I red like skull. Hellboy. Mm. I'm all about Hellboy. Yo, Hellboy. Hey, we're, we're going off target. Stay on, target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Yes, sir. <laughs> on that note, let's take it around the horn. Mark, what was your general consensus? Just give us a quick spoiler-free overview of what you thought of uh, Batman v Superman. Some some spots I liked, some spots I didn't like. I liked all the Ben Affleck Batman stuff. I wasn't a big fan of the whole concept of him and Superman fighting each other. I was never really a big fan of that idea. Um, I can understand why Batman was upset with Superman. 
you know, but I couldn't understand why Superman would be upset with Batman, you know. But I, just the whole idea I wasn't a big fan of. And But I did like what they did with what they had. Now, if you had to give it a grade, what? Uh... It would be hovering around a C plus to a B minus, somewhere in that vicinity. You know, it's it, it, it's got a passing grade, but I liked it, but I didn't love it. Okay, Jill. And I really wanted to love it, but... You sound like John Campia. Jill? I liked it, but what made me love it is who they picked to do their characters. I mean, I think the characters, I think the actors they picked really portrayed the characters well. And, I mean, I always love Batman, but gosh, Henry Cavill. Oh, you make it so hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. I make love what it. Hard? Give that girl some more hard <laughs> right, nipples. Right. It what was hard you, nipples. What you yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it luckily they hard. weren't on the costume cider. anymore. Everybody's happy about that. I loved it. I loved it. So I, it was the actors. I love, really I love Ben Affleck as Batman. So it was all about the casting for you. For sure. The story couldn't hold it. You know what? I, the story, the story, I like the story. I l- you said no spoilers, so I'm trying to be general here. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back around, Brad. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Um, good question. Uh, it's too long. Um, uh, Alfred wasn't in it enough because uh, he was actually my favorite character in the in the whole. Well, story. Jeremy Irons and Larry Fishburne were both completely, were. utterly wasted. I mean, where was, was the Great Caesar's mad. Ghost? That was the only <laughs> thing that I missed. I Perry White, every comic, every every old uh, George yeah. Reeves. Superman, Great Caesar's Ghost. I wanted a Great Caesar's Ghost. They could have given me one, nothing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm actually holding out at around eight, eight and a half out of ten. Um, That's pretty good, though. I well, I liked it for what it was. To me, the CGI was fairly seamless. I think it was very well done cinematically. I didn't like the writing, and I didn't like the editing. And the version that I saw was grainy, so I don't know why. But were yeah. you wearing your glasses? Yes, I oh, was. Okay. Yes, I was. <laughs> all right, Q. I know you could go on and on all night about this. Well, let's just, just give us your sit quick. out and take a seat, everybody. No, um, I liked it. I thought it was very. I I do think the writing was a little spotty, but I have a theory on that that we'll get to later. Um, well, I can tell you right now that it's. It was intended to be a half an hour longer, so there was things, things that were clearly, clearly made taken no out. Sense because they yeah, just to take and pluck and stuff right out. out. But that has something to do with it too. But I think that this movie was made for, like how Mark always says, that one percent. I think this movie was made for that one percent because I felt like they took important things from multiple comic books and put them in the movie, which I think. They looked at Marvel and, and how we always complain that Marvel's not going with the from the source material. They take they're like it's more of a um, inspired by, and this was more of a okay. We're gonna take this from this comic book and we're gonna take this from this comic book and we're gonna take this. And they haven't figured out how to mesh it all together because they're taking ten different stories that have nothing to right, do with each other. Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you consult the writers of the original story bring well, them in? Well, it's, it's not even that. It's the fact that they're taking ten different stories that have nothing to do with each other and trying to make them one story. You get what I'm saying? So you say they didn't want to make it a two-parter or a three-parter. Well, they wanted to cram it all together they wanted and get to it all try out to, of the way but they, real it's, fast. It's that that okay, well, maybe, let's but the, we'll save it. But, that's, but like I'll a, give it. Let's hear. What, oh yeah, what's I'll your give rating? it a, a nine. Okay. I'm still going to give it a nine. Well, I, th- I, I I do remember. Uh, it was a, I was going to say ten out of ten. <laughs> I, it was a video that I said ten out of ten. But when I went to go see it, like I said, the the initial Thanks, going was the <laughs> flip flopper. Yeah, the well, no, no, I said no. If you remember the video, I said a nine and a half, ten. Nine and a half, ten. Okay, Hillary. I agree. Thanks. And then you feel so the now, burn, bitch. So now, anyway, <laughs> so now you're at a solid nine. Then. I'm at a solid nine. Right. The more he sees it, don't right. see it too many times. It'll, it'll come keep out as going a down. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it won't. It'll stay. It'll stay at a nine. It'll Maybe stay he's got to watch it ten times before he gets yeah. to the real 8. number. Eight point nine, seven point nine, six point nine. 
Five point nine. Oh yeah. shit! Just point nine. So what you're saying is your kids cheated on the test, is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> or, or was it the teachers trying to give them the answers while they were taking the test? I just, I just want to get that part clear. It's a nine. Okay, it'll All stay right, at a nine. Now the the star of Batman v <laughs> Superman. Yes, yes, Mr. Rich Rollins. Tell me how you died. <laughs> yeah, ex- explain to everybody your your big death scene there. Well, I was standing. In the Senate room, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when Superman I think came they in, call it chamber. When, when, when Superman came into the chamber, I was standing over by the wall, and then this explosion happened, and I died. Did he really do it, or was it the wheelchair? Because you were in there. I can't tell you because they're going to explain that in the second one. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> I just wanted to know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> overall, watching the movie, besides your besides scenes. my scenes, which were awesome, by the way. Very well done. Well, I, I, very well I done. will you admit. You stood there, there perfectly. Was, there was an Oscar. There you was said Oscar nothing for perfectly. Best security officer standing by a door. I would win it. Well, shit. Oscar, so why? You might just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw Larry Fishburne. Screw Larry right. Fishburne. Give it to Rich. <laughs> but I will say this. Of all the people that, I've, uh, that I know that were supposed that to claimed be in the movie, movie yeah. Rich, was Rich was the only, was the only one, one that actually And he was actually in two shots. Cut. Two yep. shots. We two saw shots. him in two shots. I was CGI out of a third shot oh, oh shit. really you were in the bathtub right no i think that's the part where he went to jail they, they, they used oh, me no. for ant-man a- was in the bathtub <laughs> you were luthor's cellmate is that what it was i was lifting weights and uh, oh you were lifting weights oh okay okay no i all right so what's your what's your review what, My what review would you give was, it uh, out of 10 I'd, I'd give it like a 7.8 out of 10 Okay, I was going to say the same thing. I'd give it about a solid seven. I liked it more than I liked A Man of Steel. Oh, Man of Steel, yeah. I thought, had some great parts, but it also had some horrible parts. This one, I felt the good parts were better than Man of Steel, and there weren't as many <laughs> problems or issues that I had with it. So I think it, it's a huge step up because I was very skeptical going in. I thought... Same director as Man of Steel, same creative team, obviously the same, a lot of the same cast. So I just had a very low expectations going in, especially since all the critics seem to be bashing it. It's currently yeah. at thirty percent. Really, on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. But, but did, that's because wow. of I'm telling you, they did this for the fans. Did you I'm notice all the scenes with Ben Affleck? The dialogue was probably the best dialogue in the movie. <laughs> he's I, uh, and, you got to well, think about he it. He's probably all the scenes. He rewrote all his scenes. Yeah, exactly. but I, I think. It. But let's be honest. Oh. Besides. Jeremy Irons and probably Lawrence Fishburne out of the main cast, he's the better actor out of the three. Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure. For you sure. get what I'm saying? So maybe well, he delivered his lines better than Henry, say a Henry Cavill can. Well, let's let's do this. Let's and we start- know Gal Gadot can't deliver shit, but Let, she did really good. Let's start <laughs> at the beginning. We're gonna let's walk through the movie. Okay. I. I got to say, the beginning, that opening sequence where we're seeing Man of Steel from Bruce Wayne's eyes, I thought that was awesome. Awesome. Oh, that was fantastic. That was, to me, that was beautifully maybe the done. best part of the movie. I had no idea they so blew up Detroit. It was awesome. Yes, I know, yes, right? Yes. I, I like, like how he's driving down. I was like, that's Congress. In. That's Washington. <laughs> oh, look, I parked there before. That's why I used to catch the bus. Was, <laughs> and he was driving through the alley around the Ford building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and, and, but I'm sitting there, and I'm like this. That wasn't a Man of Steel. That wasn't a Man of Steel. <laughs> but it's all from Wayne's perspective. All from Wayne's perspective. So it was, but it was very well done. And it helps that I had just rewatched Man of Steel because the part where... He's talking to the guy on the phone. Yeah. And you see, that's when you see Zod and Superman crash into the building on Man of Steel, and Zod can't control his heat vision. That was that scene. Yeah, where he's blasting. Where he's oh, blasting right. everything. Yeah. That yeah. was that scene. Oh. So okay. it, it's really great how they put it together. When you see the eyes going Yeah, everywhere. but seeing it out of context, I, all I could think of while I was watching it was, like, what the fuck is Superman doing? Well, that I, was I, those scenes. Like, I and remember even that when from the scenes, yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, and that was actually like, all right, this is great. I was excited. Right. If, if you when you go back, like when he when he was sitting there watching it, and you seen the ship 
crash into the yeah, ship yeah. That, and they sent him back to the family. That's when he said a good death is his own reward and he crashed the ship into the uh, thing right, when okay. Fiora was on the on the uh, yeah. plane. I did like that that shot of the of the spaceship cutting through the buildings like butter. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was yes. awesome. That was because awesome. but that was great because if you remember in Man of Steel, all they showed was Superman saying Krypton had its chance and he destroyed the ship. But you never seen what happened to the ship. Right. It just crashed. And we didn't know if it blew up. Yeah. We didn't oh, know what yeah. happened to it. It just crashed. So that right there in itself probably fixed the problem in Man of Steel. Well, this movie definitely kind of retroactively fixed a lot of the problems that I had with, Man, with of Man of Steel. So I will give it credit for that. Right. Well, maybe Justice League will fix all the problems you have. With that, would be, that would be See, nice. but maybe that's why they're doing that, to leave you lingering for the next thing, because it's like a puzzle. That, gotta could, be. Well, that could be. That could be. Well, I don't want to jump ahead too much, but that was probably my biggest complaint with the movie, was that they spent so much time setting up the Justice League movie that... Uh, no. I disagree. I disagree. What do you mean? Which, I, well, I disagree. all the stuff with Darkseid. So oh. all of a sudden, Bruce Wayne can see into the future and see, well, see this apocalyptic that right there, uh, I have a theory. world. I have a theory. Yeah, but whatever, you might have the best theory in the world. That has nothing to do with this movie. Well, I, thought, well, I think that'll be explained in... Cyborg, Aquaman, and uh, yes. The Flash had nothing to do with this movie. Right, right. right. We're right. heading towards the climax of the movie, and, oh, let's take a oh. little pit stop and yeah. watch these three I thought, scenes. I, that I thought we were at least going to see Aquaman come in when the whole Everybody, part happened. Every, yeah. Like, All right, cool. At least that was the rumor Aquaman. that he would... That they actually it was rumored that they would all appear in the movie, which they did. Well, they did. well in the script I read last year, uh, that was online, uh, it, this movie had really didn't follow that script at all, and it was written by Chris Terrio. But the only thing that had anything to do with the script was that Superman died at the end by Doomsday. That's the only thing the script. But that I read. follows the comic book. Yeah. The death of Superman yeah. follows the comic book perfectly. But that's why I was saying back to the thing that I think they took so many different... Because the dream sequence, those soldiers were from the way, same way they draw the soldiers in Injustice. Guys Among Us. Right. That's that whole thing. So I felt like they took... And then the whole scene... Yeah, but what is that? What is, what is any of that But here's the thing. It wasn't a Batman story. movie. Exactly. Yes, it I was. I mean, it was... No, it was definitely but it was, 100% but a Batman them, movie. But for them to... Still, they was really more of an intro into. But that's what I'm saying. I think when they did by them I doing it was a that dream sequence, it was How? a dream sequence. Was, but the was, dream sequence was based off of injustice. That's great, but every dream sequence but, had nothing to do with the movie. Right. Well, well no, the dream, the I, first dream I sequence did. I disagree with you there because what. The dream sequence was were doing was showing what Bruce Wayne fear. how he felt about Superman the fear the anger so those scenes and it helped him it helped him figure out what he had to do to solve the problem yes it was literally in well, it, in and the, it in, kept the first half from being right, totally, totally devoid of anything interesting but you right. have to listen to what the Flash <laughs> I said. I didn't get bored with the first half with what the Real Flash cool. said when he came now out that was, of Was the that tunnel. old Flash? That was Flash in that time, in the time of the dream sequence. Because it didn't look like him. It was Flash. He said, Lois is right. the key. Right. What's that Bruce, have to do with Flash? Bruce, you have to find us. You have to find us. In other words, all those right four all people along. that you just seen, you have to get us together. Because the only way that we're going to stop this from happening... Is if we're all together, and the only person that's going to do that is, is Batman. Batman. Boy, I didn't explain that. Are you sure he's not one of the by, by of superheroes saying, from the future? By them saying low, no, because yeah, that did not look like Flash. That was that Flash. Was in the, you have to, when he's there, you see the lightning. No, 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 no I understand. He had armor but, on, but he that's had not armor on. the Flash that we saw in the the little that was Ezra grocery yes, store Ezra video Miller. clip. I think that was future Flash. No, that's what I'm that saying. That was Flash future Flash. From, like, w- no, that's what I'm years. saying. That, that, was probably, that wasn't the kid they showed no. speeding around in that. Uh, well, it was video. Flash. No, it was Flash from the. It had to be yeah, Ezra Miller old. from the future. It was old, but Flash. it was probably yeah, him on the cosmic treadmill wow. coming back in time. I, I'd have to see it again to see if it looked like that. Uh, I think actor. It, it it did look it like did him. It did look like him. But, but here's you, the problem again. What does that have to do with Batman versus Superman? Exactly. Because it sets up. It sets up. 
the fact that it confirms Bruce's fears that someday in the near future, right, if he Superman is going to try to take over the world. So if I kill him now, that will never happen. But but the Why movie was getting fraught with both of them was were paranoid about each other. I don't understand. I I can get why Superman was paranoid of Batman because he feel like he's killing people. Batman's and, a vigilante, right? And Clark Kent's a fucking Boy Scout, exactly. And but he we doesn't like to see Batman's he, a criminal. Basically. Batman to him, is a yep. criminal. To him, but technically they're all criminals. Oh I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, no, you well, watch, yeah. watch Justice League Unlimited. Superman is a, they, is a they criminal. They run roughshod. You think the you only think Marvel of Civil War, the the government should be going crazy about. Uh, superheroes complete utter disregard for their environment when they're stopping a crime. Uh, fucking DC, they blow up everything in fucking sight. Well, and that's, that's the thing with Batman and Superman. That was another reason. And I don't understand why they had Lex Luthor kind of set this whole thing up. Well, when I, well let's go. Let's get back to the movie. Okay. So after we see the the big battle with right. Zod from. Bruce right. Wayne's perspective. Bruce Wayne perspective. Then Superman essentially gets called out to take responsibility right. for what happened. And what happened in the desert with Lois because he was set up. Yes, yeah. So Lois essentially went to interview a like a terrorist yeah. leader of some sort. Now, this is the question that I had. Did – because those, those – uh, paramilitary guys that mm-hmm. wiped everybody out right. they worked for luther right right so did he already know that lois lane would be their guess so he was uh he organized it he, he owned, organized he, he clearly no, no, no. owned the I cia but i'm trying to figure out because the whole crux of the movie is that lex luther is pitting batman versus superman he's the puppet master right of this movie. pretty much and so at that point does he know that lois and Superman are together. Yes. So he's luring. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna tell you how. Well, tell you how but I'm gonna tell you how. If you remember Man of Steel, before Superman turned himself in, it's kind of hard not to know that they're together when you share a big fat kiss in front of the whole world. Okay, but uh, when does it? What I want to know is when does it transition from him knowing Superman's identity? Because he right. knows that Lois Lane and Superman are together romantically. That's one thing I didn't understand either. I well, Jimmy Kimmel figured it out. Another thing I don't understand, his boss didn't even know it was him until he died. Well, Jimmy Kimmel figured it out. Well, Jimmy Kimmel did <laughs> figure it out. That's I, true. I, Jimmy's I guess, a smart man. I guess you'd have to assume, if since he solved the kiss between Superman and Lois, and then I'm, and all of a sudden Lois is dating Clark. Well, maybe. Or was that a secret? Were they like? Uh, well, the- I don't think that was. I think no, that no, was a even secret. If it, even if it was a secret, Lex is gonna know because Lex is. He's got. Lex is Lex. Got, like he's bathtub Lex. cameras, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you just hung up on this bathtub. Well, I gotta say, my only know, question was. I have, oh. Who mopped up all that water? <laughs> That's all I oh, wanted to know. He just used his heat vision, though. Oh, it evaporated. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I will say this: <laughs> Amy Adams was criticized in Man of Steel for not being attractive enough for Superman. What? And in this movie I thought she looked great. That bathtub I scene. Very, I never, uh, I never I thought she was yeah, the thing. You know they, they picked her, her because they wanted somebody you know to be naive because Lois Lane was a little naive so the, well, she plays a good role for I Lois think, Lane. Th- and that's why Superman was in love with her because she was your average girl next door. She wasn't Superwoman. That's why he loved her. I think Amy and in this movie, I mean, period. He just was so in love with her. He was he, to the we, point of stalker. He gave his superpowers up yeah. to be with her. Yeah, to the point no of stalker. Kidder. To the point of yeah. stalker. But Superman yeah, would give up all <laughs> his power to be with that woman. <laughs> well, he, so, I mean, he <laughs> she's she's a cute girl. There's no question about it, I mean, and she looks great with no clothes on. And I'm not going to argue with that. No, no, but. You know, I, I wish she would have stood up in the bathroom. She wasn't just, really. Yeah, she wasn't. <laughs> I second that. She plays yeah. a very convincing Lois Lane, and that's not her fault. Lois Lane isn't a convincing Lois Lane because of shitty writing. That's actually what the problem is. Well, I, Jimmy okay. Olsen gets killed, and nobody gives a shit. And that was and Jimmy Olsen, and he's in the CIA. 
Well, because now, well, you know now he's a black guy on CBS. So that okay, explains okay, a okay. lot. Well, you know what? I didn't even know that was him until Zack Snyder was Afterwards, like, yeah. yeah, that was Jimmy Olsen. Well, see, again, okay. another problem with the movie is that they're introducing and killing off main characters that we don't even realize. Well, in, even in Man of Steel, they killed off Emil Hamilton we get back to right the, in the beginning. We get back to the Who, press. Emil Hamilton. We Who's get back that? to the Daily Planet, and nobody misses Jimmy. There's no funeral, nothing. No funeral, no, no nothing. Clint's not, uh, you know, Clark's so, not So sad. basically, Batman versus Superman is the Walking Dead of comic book movies. <laughs> well, they don't come back to I, life. Well, no, <laughs> right. it's no, not because that they kill people it, off. The production, the producers kill off. They kill well, well, Jimmy they kill also is not. But they don't give us a chance to well, fall I in love guess with he's them. Important. Like, yeah, that's the difference. Walking books. Dead, you feel the pain yeah. when they die. With this, this we don't movie, care. You're like, like yeah, oh, whatever. Jimmy Olsen. Right, but I, I don't like. I thought we discussed this. Okay, well, let's let's be honest. I'm just saying that's when you kill somebody off before. You've developed a, uh, a relationship yeah. with them. Well, listen, how, how important is Jimmy Olsen besides the goddamn signal watch? Let's just be well, No, I, I think don't know. He's a CIA agent now. Now I'm well, more interested. Yeah. What's his background? Well, maybe he wasn't a CIA agent. Maybe the CIA just used him to get in there. I, I, that didn't, well, they, didn't, they didn't explain it in the movie. The point yeah. is that we could see reference to shitty writing. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> wow. Once we get back to America, yeah, don't hold back. Tell us exactly how you feel. Right, Holly maybe Hunter's it is a seven and a half. <laughs> right, is, Senator Fitch. Yep, she's putting on these congressional hearings. Of course, and we see right away Lex Luthor's plotting uh, to right. get his hands on the kryptonite and Zod, or right. Zod's body. Zod's body, right? Um, in the ship. In the ship. At this point, good job. Does he know? That the kryptonite is what's going to stop Superman? Yeah, yeah. remember yes. they said they found a little rock they had a and they exposed it to Zod's body and, and, they went cut they, him. and they cut him. So right away at, at that point already his plan was to kill Superman? I think his plan was to kill Superman but not supposedly have anything to be connect to him killing Superman. Well, my question then is, what about Zod? Does he have the i? Is that idea already planted in his mind to kind of revive Zod? I don't How know. could he possibly know that there's something in the ship that will revive anybody? I don't think he did. I think. Well, remember when he went into the ship? They said there's the knowledge of a thousand worlds. In so the Krypton s- database, okay, and maybe when he was, he said, "Tell me." Then, so it was shitty maybe, editing. So now we can he, kick the fucking well, cinematographers no. editing in, and kick his ass for ruining a movie that had already bad fucking writing and ruined all our decent transitions. So we could understand what the fuck we saw in two and a half fucking hours, and it's still. I, I think I'm revising it. You're right. The more I talk about this, this is coming really close to a. T- Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> so essentially, he wants the spaceship just for research and knowledge. Exactly. Once he gets I'm into thinking. the spaceship, then he gets the well, idea. It's, it's like to when a, Kevin the, Spacey went to the Forges of Solitude and he put the crystal in and he said, Tell me about Krypton. Right. Same thing. Right, exactly. And when Gene Hackman did it in Superman 1, gotcha. same thing. Right, but see that was him, basically in the fortress saying, "Tell me the knowledge." So that was a play on Superman. So when Batman, Batman, so so wait, 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 wait. So w- this is technically then a re, and I'm not, and it's not your fault. So if I go crazy again, I'm not mad at you. What you're saying though is, which explains a lot. This was an origin story for fucking Les, Lex Luthor, basically. Kind of, but yeah, so, because kind of so, when you think about but, it, right? Because we've already seen him done very well by two stellar fucking actors, right. and, and and perfectly well and completely the way we understand Lex Luthor. Well, I didn't uh, megalomaniac this before, genius, not right. this fucking Facebook asshole who who doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Well, and he's fucking insane. Well, let's let's talk about Luther because I think that's most people's biggest problem with the movie. Yeah. Wow, I actually like Luther. Well, I thought 
at the at the beginning I thought he was great, but then what happens about halfway through the movie is his character just spins off in a million different directions. Right. Because he's giving like that big... schizophrenic. He's giving that big speech at yeah. the, the party, and, and all of a sudden he starts freaking out and going crazy yeah. for no apparent reason. I was like... What's he on what's, fucking acid? What happened? the hell? Think, right, right. I think... And I think that's where there was... There must have been a scene preceding that... That they cut out. Right. Right. I was Another talking dream about scene. how... Possibly, like he knows what's coming, he knows Dark Side is coming, and he must have seen something, and that must have, you know, threw him off his rocker, or whatever. Yeah, but then why does all of a sudden he he finishes that conversation and he's going right back to, hey, there's Bruce Wayne, there's Clark Kent, his back to his normal wacky self. It just seemed totally out yeah. of left field. And I, again, I can't blame Jesse Eisenberg. I blame the fucking writer. Yeah, Jesse well, Eisenberg's no, a great actor. I think, I mean, but I, I think that was his yeah. portrayal too. I don't think Heath Ledger's killing himself was on him, not the fucking writing. Jesse Eisenberg wasn't a crazed ass motherfucker in this movie because he decided he was gonna play it a little crazy. No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. It looks like it was written that way. It has to be written, that, written way that way because because the crazy shit's consistent and it builds. Lex yeah. Luthor was never. Ever. I totally Insane. agree with you. I totally agree with yeah. you. Yeah, this Lex Luthor was all over the map. Right, but see, that ruined the movie for me. Mm. I wanted a guy that was cold and calculating, two faced, smiles for the camera, plotting the demise of everything good and wonderful in the world. Smiles. I'm a philanthropist, and I'm doing all the good there is. Ha ha! Look at me. Give to charity. Ha ha! I'm planning on killing somebody and sticking a fork in them till they're done. What's That's Lex Luthor. Where the hell was that? It's funny because the guy that played Jimmy Olsen originally was going to be Lex Luthor, and uh, they shouldn't have killed him. Jesse in the first Eisenberg scene. was going to be killed off. Killed off. He was oh. going to be Jimmy Olsen. I think money has changed hands. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: uh, Lex Luthor, we know, had a file on all the what do they call metahumans. Metahumans. So obviously Superman would be in that category, right. or is he considered an alien? Is he different no, I think from he's the an meta- alien. He's not a metahuman. Okay. Now, does he ever know the identity of Batman? I don't think so. Would he wrong with, city? Yes. No, no, no. He would have obviously to. Obviously, he, he sent them. The, he sent them the thing. He's he, you yep. let your family. Remember, he said you let your family die. Little Red Riding told, took him off the edge. He, he told Superman. He he did that. He knew Batman was Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, how does he know? No, 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 no. Maybe that's that shit. No, 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 no. You're totally misinterpreting the the writing on those checks. The writing on the checks. Oh, that's from the guy who's got his legs. From the guy who had his legs. No, that was the same writing that was on that paper that you let your family die. And Lex. That was stopped by Lex Luthor, which means that guy never got those checks. Lex even says it. Lex even says it. To Superman. To Superman. the hill pad. That all I had to do is write something and send it back to him, right? The yeah, why would red that guy refuse the checks anyways from Wayne? Exactly. Who saved him. Who saved him. Why would that he? guy never got those checks, which is another yeah. reason he was so pissed off. Because if he would have been getting those checks, he would have never... He thought Wayne betrayed he him. He thought Wayne abandoned him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. And how the hell did he do that? It's Lex Luthor. I mean, no, like, no, I no, 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 no. Yeah, yet, yet another <laughs> pull a fucking movie. Pull, pull Harvey out of a fucking hat. <laughs> He's like a mafia guy. Six foot How's rabbit. How's mafia do stuff? I don't know. I don't Invisible, know. by the way. That's fucked up. Okay, so why does soup? Why does he send Superman if he knows who Bruce Wayne is? Why does he send Superman to kill him? He's got an army because of it's people. not it's not Superman killing him. It's Batman killing him. It's Batman. It's not Bruce Wayne killing Clark Kent. It's not. It's Batman killing And then it's another way to keep his hands clean. Or if Superman kills Batman, which Lex think he is going to, like he said on the helipad, God finally shows his true nature. You are a murderer and not someone to be worshipped. See, I, I thought the only reason that Lex sent Superman after Batman was because... 
he stole the kryptonite and therefore no. wasn't eligible. No, Lex, no, Lex, no, 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 Lex knew no. Batman had the kryptonite right. because he, he left, set that he, up. He left yeah. the he left the batarang in it. He that's why when he went into if you notice when he went into LexCorp after Batman broke in and stole the kryptonite when he looked at the case, it was a smirk on his face right before it cut off. Right before it cut to the next scene, there was a little smirk like, okay, everything he is falling into place. So yep. you're saying Lex Luthor wanted Batman to, to steal, steal the, the kryptonite, kryptonite yes. because so that he could then try to kill Superman. Well, think about it. Both his problems will be solved. If Superman kills Batman, then the world is looking at it like, okay, Superman is not some god, some savior. He's just a murderer. Then if Batman kills Superman, then the most powerful person in the world is now taken out. Why does he have to do this whole elaborate chase yeah, scene? Why doesn't where he he's just kill him? Jumping through he's buildings. The, he's the and fucking evil genius. Why doesn't he just kill him? Yeah, he's got the kryptonite. Why put it on display? Why? How well, come all of his shit is done out in the open? This is not fucking Luthor. He would have got away with everything, like a Scooby Doo reference. I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> he would have got away with this if Lois wouldn't have been. If that bullet would have never got lodged in her journal. I'm back up to eight and a half with the Scooby reference. Thank you. <laughs> if that <laughs> bullet would have never gotten her journal, Lois would have never figured none of this out. How did the journal get in her mailbox, by the way? Well, she had probably had to ship back How? from overseas. How? Who did it? Who packed well, it? I or Lex had. Master. No, I, no, right. Lex had his men the, there. They could have circled back and went back. Why would he give it, evidence it, it on his get bullet? Himself in it might have not have been him it's because they do sense. explain that the government went in there to investigate and right. they found and all this stuff and they might have sent send it back, it back to her. her. With the bullet? With the bullet in it? Hey, well, our, that's not, that's our intelligence, I, I want to point obviously? out that the bullet was an inch long <laughs> and the journal was a half inch long obviously. and it was only in one side. It did not Ha- go all the way through. Obviously, Bob that day was working. He was very tired. <laughs> it was Friday. He was ready to go, man. He was ready to go. <laughs> I'm a oversight. Bob for a party, and he's just like, you know what? Go. Let's just ship this stuff back. Screw it. Superman yeah. killed him. Whatever. All right, but none of that still addresses my main I, question. If he knew who Bruce, if he knew Bruce Wayne was Batman, send his minions to go kill him. He's a human right. being. He's not he's trying to kill killable. Batman. Right. He's not because trying to kill Batman. Because what did you see though? Why did you see Lex was Batman trying to get support to in the first place in the beginning? And when when he was meeting with Bruce, he seen Bruce wasn't about him. So that's when he kind of turned. He wasn't always but out to get him. The whole point was for Bruce to kill Superman, or for Superman to kill. Batman. Either way it goes, you have now single handedly either killed Superman's credibility or you kill Superman. Yeah, but he had the kryptonite. It was he yeah, but he can't use the he kryptonite. He doesn't know how to fight. <laughs> it's not like he's got know. the kryptonite he's got suit an army. Yet. Send his no. But he doesn't have the brains. Have Bruce has the brains. <laughs> he want he right. didn't want to no. make him like sending Bruce the enemy. Okay, let me Right, One he conversation said we should work together. Yeah, remember yeah. he was trying to get him to support him. He needed, My he needed a sponsor d- pretty much because he he didn't have he had That's enough true. funds, but he needed brains and more money, and, and Bruce had both. Well, you got to think about it. Like she said, he said, you should come over and see. My R&D's up to all kind exactly. of Exactly. No he good. wanted him to go work in his lab. Bruce was like, I'm not. I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. But Shimmy, shimmy. Go like I said. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on. If... <laughs> Like I said, you get your result if Batman kills Superman, then that's it. Okay, then why go through this elaborate chase scene if he just wanted to give him the kryptonite to kill Superman? Why couldn't he just have left the door open? Because and, if oh, I if I, I give it to you, something's up. You know that. Right, right. Something's up. If I'm not just going to give you right. the weapon. The more right. I talk about this movie, the more I dislike it. Yeah, me too. All <laughs> right. When they're offloading that crate, and you can see the bat signal, the homing signal, big as life, three inches long, hello, I'm watching you, and I'm thinking, and nobody does anything about it, I'm going, are they really that blind? How the hell did they miss that? So that might have something to do with to say that, yes, 
Luthor was trying to be complicit, right. trying to say, don't let him have it, tease him enough, make sure he knows how to get here. Well, he even said it. He sent Clark the photos, judge, jury, executioner. He sent those to Clark himself. Well, he was trying to foment uh, uh, anger on Superman's part to say, look at what the bat's doing. Exactly. Because he wanted him to go take his head. And maybe he owns the Daily Planet. Because in the comic book, Bruce Wayne owns it. But maybe he owns it. Because remember what Ben Affleck said. Yeah. Daily Planet. Is this, one of the- is this one of the ones I own or is that the other guy? Who's the other guy? Could have been Luthor. We don't know. All right. Now let's talk about the things that I did like. Wait. Can I add one more? Gal Gadot? Don't like? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, though, he's about to kill Superman. He's stomping him and you're letting him kill Martha. Now I'm your friend. That... Was kind of like that with the flip. That was, that was way the too. Same first name. Yeah, yeah. 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 And and how and wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, but wait. How, how, okay, well maybe I was the only one. To me, what won uh, Bruce over was not that line. No, I think it, it was, was Amy Adams. It Adams. was Lois Lane when she said that's his mother. Yeah, going hysterical, realizing that. Okay, he's not this alien freak who's just coming to our Earth to destroy it. He right. has love an upbringing. He has a he family. Has a family. Right. He is more human than, than I thought. Yeah. So to me, that scene didn't bother me. No, not at all. Really, no. it did the for me, especially me. like Superman when they when they first started to fight before they even started fighting. Batman was standing there in his face. And they were standing there before Superman. He could have told him then, "Hey, this well, is he, what's going on." Well, he tried. Bruce, he, he tried. Him. He started it. No, he tried. No, he said, he "Bruce, I it. need your help." He said, "Bruce, I need your help." And, but yeah, see, and Batman, and Batman was like, "Well, here I am." You know, Batman was like, "You don't." But now, but now, me. at the mercy you, of his grace, you're going to include point, your mom at the end. Come on. And now that's me. actually, I have a problem with that. Okay. At what point are they? Number one, on a first name basis, and why does he call him Bruce when he should? He technically doesn't know. He does know he's Bruce Wayne. Wow. X ray vision. He can no, see he, like that. Like that, that we no, don't that, know that. Okay, no. no he at, heard the him at the party. Mm-hmm. At the party. He heard Alfred talking to him. But at he doesn't call him. One more I don't He doesn't like, call him way. Batman. He calls him, he calls him Master Bruce. Everybody yeah, hears that. So what? Okay, he seen. When, okay, but why? When why they first pulled around? in, though, he said, "Who That's, is that?" Oh, you must be new conclusions. around here. There's no way anybody could possibly Wayne. know that. Batman. No. Wait, he could see the Batmobile keys in his pocket through his X-ray. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, you could see. No, his when he little, first uh, rolled into the party. Bat, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, the okay. bat bowl. Yeah. Superman has a god piece underneath <laughs> his. <laughs> right, exactly. He's, he saw Batman earlier, even without the special suit. He saw. Okay, earlier. can I say yeah, one more? Yeah, he's got X-ray vision. That All right. So what's the stuff we liked? One more. Don't like. One more. <laughs> okay, they could have aged Alfred a little more. He was that, old. He was well, already old as uh, hell. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean Bruce looked like he had a couple years on him. I mean, he should have been a he little. He was clearly old. 20 years older than him. A little bit more. That's they cool made a me. reference. Number one, they made a reference. They You're showed, slowing they showed that the Waynes died in 1981 instead of 1941 or 38. 51, whatever it was, right? Okay, so that meant that Bruce was born in 70 because he was 11 years old when his parents died, which means he's 46, okay? Jeremy Irons is easily in his mid-60s. Mm-hmm. And the difference between a, a child of 11 and his butler at 30 years old is totally believable. I mean, I'm not trying to over, you know, I, I, I think it's okay. Now, I, did, I do know, I will say to your... To your point, Ben Affleck has gray hair, and Jeremy Irons is barely salt and pepper, and you're right, they could have conveyed it more so, but men of an age... These well, are uh, these are rich people that don't want to take good care of them. Yeah, exactly. see that's that's yeah. You, you see those you weights that Affleck was. Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Yeah. That, that whole actually yeah. that scene right Did there you? totally gave credence to the fact that he could punch the shit out of people, knock somebody across the room, hit, backhand them with something, and send them flying, or knock somebody off their feet and their head hitting the ground. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah, I can believe that. Well, that brings me to the things that I liked about the movie, which was mainly. 
Batman. Ben Affleck, <laughs> Batman, and Gal Gadot so, as Wonder Woman. Let me ask a question going around the room. Is Ben Affleck now the best Batman ever? He's one of the sexiest. It's For me, it's a tie with him and Bale. Yeah. 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 Matt Damon. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> for me, for me, it's it's two different Batmans. Bale, Bale is more grounded more in agility. reality. I think Bale is grounded in reality. Yeah, yeah, more agility. He's more smooth of a fighter. And then with Affleck, probably because he's an older Batman and he's a little more built, like bulky, most of his moves are powerful when it came to the fighting part. But I, I, I think there's I miss the nipples. Great. We really haven't seen enough of the Ben Affleck Batman yet. It's true. You know, we got to see three movies worth of Christian Bale. Well, I'd say I, two and a I half. Would, I would say Dark Knight Rises was about. I would a half say with all Batman the critics movie. out there that were criticizing the whole Affleck choice, they but were he's wrong. not gonna get any younger. How much more can he do? Well, and the, if it takes four years to make a fucking movie, well, they're gonna do uh, prequels. The Batman movies are gonna be the prequels, so they're gonna oh. make him look a little younger. They could do yeah, that. Yeah, they'll get rid of the gray and shave them and yeah. Yeah. slim that, them down Can we talk a about the 7 o'clock shadow every fucking day? It's impossible. Doesn't this guy, he's a businessman. Doesn't he ever fucking shave? He's busy we're, kicking ass. We're at the wing. I guess. <laughs> right. It, 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 one would guys. have to believe sh- that the entire movie occurred within 24 to 48 hours. Hang on. Because his stubble never changed. And I mean, it could be genetics. I mean, I shaved before I came here. It could be and like the I time period that they, the time period of the movie could have been always in the evening, where we always seen him with that seven o'clock shadow. <sighs> if I saw I him, it was eight clean, o'clock. Yeah. Eight if, o'clock. if I saw him clean like shaven ten, once, man, I'm telling you. I might. Believe maybe, that. maybe it's not even real. Maybe it's part of the costume, throw people off. Okay, let's know. let's <laughs> get back on track. Maybe you can make track. it grow on cue. Going off the rails. <laughs> and it grows I'm going to have right to be back. doing a lot of editing on <laughs> yeah. this one. I have mm, a editing. Feeling. Um, okay, we talked about Ben Affleck being the best Batman. Okay. This is very clearly a Batman movie. Yes. How does this rank with the other Batman movies? Wow! Really Did it feel like a Batman, Batman movie to me? It is. It yeah. is one hundred percent. I guarantee you a Batman. I still feel movie. bad that I like the 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 Batman, Robin, and Batgirl movie best. Oh, is that Batman? Wait, movie? what? That toy movie? Oh. That with cash George grab Clooney? Movie? As you say, it's a cash grab. <laughs> oh. Need I remind you that Marvel is my favorite? Is this the best Batman movie ever? Does it beat Dark Knight? Does it beat Burton's Batman? I can't li- compare it to The Dark Knight because The Dark Knight is grounded in reality. This is more of a definitely a book. fantasy yeah. version. Yeah. Uh yeah, just off the fight scenes alone and the fact that this is now my favorite Batmobile. Deep period. Yes. Well, let's talk about the Batmobile for a second because what I liked about this Batmobile is it, it was almost a fusion of Burton's Batmobile, where it was low and sleek to mm-hmm. the ground, yeah. but it had that rough, militarized tumbler. Feel effect. like the tumbler. So it was yeah. kind of like they fused the be- the two best movie Batmobiles. I, I I can't say enough about it. I thought I agree with you 100%. It was... I agree, speechless. and it was Chrysler made, by the way. Detroit owned. There you go. I thought it was awesome that it could drive through the walls at the old uh, Packard plant. That, that was, was cool. That, that was, was probably that was the best sweet. part. That was sweet. Yeah, that when he sweet. veered off and just kept yeah. going right through well, there. Well, I like the beating it took, man. That because yeah. yeah. it, it was already halfway destroyed, and then when Superman just came out and ripped it apart, and he's still just like, he's just like driving. Right, off. he still got home. I still got yeah. home. Man. But that does bring up one point: if he could tear the Batmobile apart, why didn't he just do that to the suit? That he had at the end. Why couldn't he just peel them like a banana, you know? Well, you know, when you get those kryptonite missiles, I'm just saying. I guess. <laughs> he waited you too sure long. there was no kryptonite inside the suit? Oh, I don't know. There no, 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 no. Well, this is why I say, again, it's comic book. When he shot the missiles, that's like in The Dark Knight Returns. When he shot, when Green Arrow, instead of Green Arrow shooting it, it was... Batman shooting it and he inhales the kryptonite that's in the system. But if Batman could have got all the kryptonite, he could have just made a kryptonite armor. 
And he went. Well, that's Lex Luthor's him. job. That'll be yeah. saved for the Justice League. How did you like the Batcave entrance? That, that was, was like the best Batcave entrance. <laughs> I thought that the water history. The other amazing. movies were great, but this one it just opened up. The water just, just opened, opened up. up. I thought that was sweet. And then that you got was, the. That was that sweet, was a man. total rip off from the Avengers, by the way. All that Marvel stuff. No, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't the, the real stuff. Yeah, it was. You were in the movie. Stop being such a hater. Well, here's I was what killed. I, <laughs> oh. Here's what I liked about Batman. Was that we saw Bruce Wayne actually doing some detective work? Yes. Yeah. Because I don't think in any of the other no. Batman movies we ever saw that side of him. The closest we got was when Val Kimmer was trying to figure out those riddles. <laughs> no, when when Bruce Wayne went, uh, when Kristen Bale went to investigate uh, uh, outside when he was on the motorcycle outside that building during the during the, um, the uh, funeral for the commissioner, and he finds those cops all tied up in the uh, building. Oh yeah, that was investigative work. Well, yeah, that was pretty close. That was during okay. the day because he couldn't dress yeah, as Batman dress during the day. Batman, he couldn't take the tumbler out that time. That's right. Um. Okay, so now let's talk about Wonder Woman. Yes. She doesn't have a lot to to do, although she's in a lot of scenes. She's just she's just like sprinkled in there. Character, yeah. Gal Gadot I like her because she's like well. they purposely put her in there without scenes because they didn't think her dialogue was going to be very well. Well, I heard people complaining about her accent, but but I like it. it you know, she's from the Amazon, yeah, anyways. It should be an exotic. And she's exotic oh, kind of, yeah. I love her. I love her. She's from the Amazon. Somebody from Amazon. Please don't Island. say <laughs> she's from South America. <laughs> Please don't say she's from South. America. No, 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 she's from she's Israel. From Amazon Amazon Island. Island. Paradise, Paradise Island. Island. Paradise Island. Right. The Mascara. Yeah. I'm, did anyone one notice one. Captain Kirk in that old picture of her? Yes. Right next to her? And that's what I was going to say. Pine? That's what oh. I was going to say. The picture alone has me excited for the movie. Mm-hmm. She looks buff in that picture. Oh, my God. The picture. I was just She had, like, neck like, muscle. I was like, <laughs> the picture was. I was just like, I can't wait for this movie. Because mm-hmm. she was really good at it. But did it remind you of, like, the Howling Commandos? It seemed like. They're just ripping off the first Captain American movie. Well, but dude, gotta remember, you know they from, both came out around the same time. I guess they're trying to make her the Captain America of the Justice League. Well, they both in hit real life. They both came out around the same time. His biggest enemy was Hitler. Her biggest enemy was Hitler. So after World War Two, they both kind of went because they didn't have anybody to fight. So this one is nineteen eighteen. Red, white, and blue. Right. So this one is nineteen eighteen. Stripes. But I think they she did had camel that one. Toe. They did that. <laughs> they did that more with Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman was the very first female hero, so they had to sell her somehow. But um, I missed that. But um, <laughs> Jesus, that'll be in the director's cut. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, let's talk about Wonder Woman's battle Dialogue. scene at the end. Okay, uh, best fighter out the, of the three of them. Yeah, definitely the best fighter. And she looked like she was having a blast. That oh, was yeah. the first, yes. first time in the movie where somebody looked like they were enjoying it. Uh, having a good time, yeah. I think that whole fight scene was, well, it, like she said at the end, a hundred years ago, I turned my back on man. So she hasn't had a fight in a hundred years. You know how hard that is for a warrior to not fight for a hundred years? Wait. So she probably was having fun. Well, you know. She comes from an island of all women. She's not even supposed to care about men anyways. So she was already fighting a fight that she wasn't supposed to be fighting. And now it's like she's being drugged back in it. She she wants to be in it, though. Wonder Woman wants to fight. So she, she was only in the movie to get that photo back from Lex Luthor, correct? Right. Yes. Now, does she not know that digital files can be emailed? So just because she got that picture... They that, still, uh, where she lives, they still use fire for light. That's so. true. That is true. But, I, and where was the shield and the sword? Was that in her carry, carry on? That was, that was, was weird. Air, that was weird. That just came out of nowhere. Did she like, leap? Maybe. Did, she, did, did she Howard jump Stark out of make that shield move? for her? Yeah. Her no, invisible plane, plane delivered it to her. The plane didn't leave. Right, because remember, she walked off and it was like, Miss Prince, where are you going, Miss Prince? And so she had the shield and the sword were invisible. In the invisible jet. 
I liked yeah. her, la- her, her, la- her lasso of truth. Yes. yes. You know, yes. I wish I wish they would have set that up where they actually showed a shot of her grabbing it and the music would change. And, you know, yeah, I'd have been excited would, about that. that. Been I was for just her to put a little get, slow-mo in her I hair was, blowing I was when waiting she for her to it. tell Doomsday yeah. to tell the truth and he would like confess that he's a homo or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, That's I don't, a great I don't, confession I don't think, for that movie. I don't think it's possible for him to play for any team whatsoever because he was smooth like a Barbie doll. <laughs> Not that I was I, looking. Well, but with the whole fight <laughs> for a twelve-foot-tall guy who had at least a six-inch spread, there was nothing there. <laughs> oh boy, he wasn't. He, like wasn't he, was, he wasn't created to he wasn't recreate. He was here to destroy, so he didn't need those parts. I'm pretty sure Zod <laughs> had uh, twig and berries. Where he, the fuck? But was Lex it? reincarnated him. So. Oh, well, anyway, pushed him up into his so, gut is what you're saying. Right. Are we saying so that little, little this little is probably oh. have some of the best fight scenes? Because I thought the fight scene between Batman and Superman and Doomsday, Wonder Woman and Superman were just. Great. Probably the best, probably the best fight scenes in any comic book movie in a while. Yeah, that's what I would because think. Because you got, think... you could actually watch it. Yeah. Okay. If you if you've noticed in the last couple of Marvel movies, the fight scenes are fleeting. It's it's a swipe and a zing, and it's far because they want to make it more kid away. friendly. Well, something else I noticed about this movie is it was shot with tunnel vision. There was no grant. There was no grand vistas. There were no wide shots. When there was something going on, you were looking at somebody's face to get the reaction. You weren't looking at the environment that they were in. Um, that's I and and that's why that those fight scenes I think were so prolific in the movie because that was the first time you actually had a wide environmental view of what was really going on. Yeah, but the problem is those scenes didn't come in till two hours into the movie. Right, the, and it didn't last long enough whole anyways. The out, first hour and a half of the movie was a bore fest, I gotta be Snoozer, honest. yeah. If it wasn't for those dream sequences, yeah. it would be totally devoid of any kind of action or suspense or anything. There was, I could have fallen asleep. Did you bring extra reading material from the library? <laughs> There wasn't enough light, but yes, I can I confess did. I did <laughs> doze off once. I I do think the movie could have been about twenty minutes shorter. Yeah, uh, I hour. agree. But they already cut all the good shit out of it. Now we have to buy the the four hour fucking DVD Three. to see the. Who cares? To see if it's better. The the real problem with right, this version exactly. is all the stuff with Holly Hunter, all the stuff with the guy with no legs. I forget his name. All that could have been dropped right out of the movie and had no impact well, on the storyline. Well, well, yes, it did. Blowing no, because up blowing up the, up the Senate, Senate was chamber. huge. Because yeah. who How? Not? How did that affect Because, anything? okay. Because they made they none of us Superman. were in there. Because Superman walked no, in the he, building and then the blue building blew up. He walked into a trap. Him. Right. Who's the only one that has the power in there to blow up a yeah, building? But you're not understanding. He does. They they and already hated him before Jar that for destroying place. an entire city. Okay, but that right. makes one them right. hate him do. more. Right, 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 right. You have a Senate that do is they trying need to, to crucify. hate him any more than wiping out a whole city. No, and he's wh- right. He's right. They didn't. That was that whole subplot was totally irrelevant. Well, to no, the because Lex wanted to target that woman. Order. That and too. that's he that's to take the, her out the too. Mason jar was a classic touch, and she was the only one who knew it wasn't Superman, so she's gone. The little Asian girl with the glasses, his assistant, Mercy. She mercy. got blew up. In the- he killed her too. What the fuck, man. No mercy. Yeah, <laughs> right. No mercy, exactly. mercy. No mercy. She, well, he always sacrifices because, and mercy, then, and that's the, that was what the you know she's like. Where's Luther? Everybody looks at the chair, and the building blows up. Well, no, well. She figured it out. When she turned the, the jar and seen Grandma's peach tea, she looked up at Superman and then looked at the wheelchair. When she looked at Superman and looked at the wheelchair, even Superman figured it out. That's when he looked at the wheelchair. Like, but again, oh, shit. all it's that for a scene that is totally, completely meaningless. Right. They could have cut I that out and nobody would have the first scene could have been done like on the TV, like. Walking through, or he's yeah. like watching TV. What? The first, the scene? first scene with with the African lady, and she was talking about how they was at the village or some shit like that. Oh, you mean that when, when, when it first opened Luther's up? Luther's guys wiped yeah. everybody. Yeah, out. yeah. right. I, I had scene, no idea what the hell that yeah, was about. That scene to me could have been. I thought done. they killed everybody. That scene to me could have been done 
The only on good TV. part was when he blasted that guy through the wall, wall threw yeah. him out there, you know. Yeah. Well, that scene, like I said, that scene could have been like him sitting there watching TV at the Senate or whatever. And then, to me, that scene that you were talking about was kind of maybe important, but it was only important because of the conversation her and Lex had in the in his house. Yeah, but you could have cut that scene out. Yeah. Why did why did you need Holly Hunter in that whole storyline? Because the whole point of it was so, to show Lex initially was trying to get funds to make these weapons. And, and Bruce wasn't her. helping him. This woman wasn't helping him. Now he's starting to go crazy. That kind of makes sense more why he's going crazy. No one's helping him. And now he's uh, feeling like he's by he himself. He anybody's so, help. No, he I was asking for permission. And we all well, know. He so couldn't get permission. For- he didn't have the brains to do it himself. Oh, no. He does see... Luther has all the brains. brains. Yeah, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah I feel he's like an did, evil genius. But well, he, she was important. Nothing was going how he, he needed, wanted it to. He, he needed, needed the, the government doc permit. To, he needed the government to her. give him the stuff. Right. That's why he was courting her. Holly Hunter. Was so because she was important. He needed. That was the only way he could you, legitimately you get that get stuff. Him. No. He, body he wanted it to be above board. No, you guys are acting as if this world actually exists and that these people are real. <laughs> and that he has to abide by these the laws. laws. Okay. Fucking yeah. write a better script. Come yeah. up with a shorter I, way I, to get to that. I, I thought I screamed shitty fucking he script four or five to, times already. Yes. Just because I'm reiterating. <laughs> oh, that's right. Flash the calm one. I forgot. <laughs> Let's talk about the end of the movie. Superman dies. Right. Mm-hmm. Superman, not the Superman. Which I, which I, I <laughs> why? Why did you for. tell me? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no. I, I give him credit for that, for doing that. I mean, obviously, he's but not going to stay dead long. But that goes back to what I was saying earlier. The story was all over the place because they are taking too many comics from the source material, and they're trying to fit these stories that have nothing to do with each other. Completely yeah, but was, nothing to do with each other, and they're trying to make them one story. But that was something that was actually one of the few things in the movie. Now that I think about it, that was actually interesting that they yes. well, but were they able took to kill off one the of the death main... of Superman, the story. Right, right. But that's what I'm well, saying. Why are you debating saying? this? <laughs> we're it worked. Agreeing. It worked. It's a good thing. Okay, yeah. Go yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you? If talking Superman about? doesn't die, it's a Jesus it's a two Christ. out of ten. This one will never be a two out of ten. But anyway, <laughs> the way they killed him, though. Like his whole chest was open. Well, everything was even open. I I, I floating, enjoyed the way they though. killed him. He was I thought, yeah, no, I thought open. it was great. I thought because I Death. thought when he initially took Doomsday up in the space because that's how he kills Doomsday in the Death of Superman. And when the nuke came up, that was from the Dark Knight Returns. But I thought that he that's how he would end up killing. Him. I was like, I kind of seen it coming at that point. When he took him up, I'm like, okay, they're going to kill Superman. I thought it was very interesting. I don't know how they're going to bring him back for the Justice mm-hmm. League, but yeah, which is what I liked. It kind of they kind of dug themselves a hole that they got to, you know. What is that? 18 months away. Well, yeah, mid, but mid 2017. But see, but then here's another thing that kind of made me mad though: is Lois Lane is his lover essentially. You know, Kryptonite's bad for him, but you don't know the sun is good for him. So you're gonna let him get buried, you know? Come well, you on, know, in the comic book, I would be his, trying to bring him to life. His vitals have to slow light, to a something. crawl so he can regenerate that, faster. And then did you know. notice when that when that nuclear bomb hit him up in space mm-hmm. and he looked like he was like a zombie? Yeah, I thought he I was thought turned. Was, he turned into Bizarro. Bizarro for a he totally yes, looked like he Bizarro. looked like Bizarro. Yeah. He looked really exactly like Bizarro. Bizarro. But the owner that's that. foreshadowing. It could be. That could be. Maybe he comes back as Bizarro. And see, that's the best thing about this movie. Is that That's it sets legs. up the Justice League, and I will say, based off of Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, I think the Justice League could be pretty darn good. So it did leave me excited to see more of these characters, especially Wonder Woman, because oh, yeah. she was such a you know small. I'm part excited of for it. Aquaman well, too. Aquaman That's what I was looked say. cool. So you didn't like the way they did, the way they introduced Aquaman and them. No, no, it I slowed l- everything down. Right, I like that, just not in this movie. Okay, that should have been the beginning yeah. of Justice League. That should have been an after a post credit sequence. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that would have been cool. Well, yeah. I think they're trying yeah. to stay away from the post credit thing because I it think doesn't they felt matter. Like that's you know how many people stayed to see a post credit thing I at did. my theater? But I did. And everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. everybody. I didn't everybody because did. thanks to Denver over there. But uh, <laughs> sorry, you guys had but, to sit through that. <laughs> 
but you know. <laughs> but you know what? At least they had a good soundtrack. DC is, I enjoyed yeah, it while really I was sitting there. Alienating <laughs> your audience by not doing that. Because they're, they're, they really they're are. so used to seeing that now. Well, just I was just disappointed that Stan Lee didn't that. have a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my snare drum and my cymbal? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. <laughs> he was in the he was in the courthouse. He was in the courthouse with me. <laughs> they cut his scene. No, he, he, or they blew him up. <laughs> they blew him up. It was the blurry. He was blurry in the background. Right. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't. Did you guys notice Debbie Stabenow? Yes. yes. This scene very like prominently up featured. Everything. Yeah. What? She was the governor. She was the of governor. Of Metropolis. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That during that party. Yeah, yeah. Debbie said, yeah, I was sitting yeah. there and I was like, oh, wow. Wasn't okay. that just Debbie stepping out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. And Jay Towers was and in Jay it. And Jay Towers. And um, yeah. the scientist. I oh, Neil deGrasse oh. Tyson. Oh, yeah, that Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, there was a lot of cameos in yeah, this Yeah, there was movie. a lot of cameos. Oh, yeah, there was Joe Morton as, as uh, Cyrus uh, Stone. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, he's Miles playing. Dyson. I think that to me was an excellent casting if he plays his father in. The ju- if you see him yeah. in the cyborg movie yes. when it comes out yes. when they said they were doing a cyborg movie the first person I thought about playing his dad was him yeah, he's so a that great was an excellent great casting actor, yeah. in my opinion because I didn't even know that was coming until I seen him so I thought that was great all I know is I'm so glad to be done talking about Batman <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Batmobiles these all this nonsense I did not make it that I'm bad. Yeah, I'm so did. ready for to move years. on. <laughs> That's I can't Jesus. wait for Civil War. Oh fuck yeah! Under I, awesome. <laughs> I think Civil War is gonna like bury this movie. I, I think so. it might too because it's, yeah. it's like it's underdog. Got the Black it's right it's Zootopia. Everyone yeah, gave this such know. high expectations. You know what? You, it's whatever. You guys can have. There's, there's all there's already word of mouth about Civil War being. They say that there's it's yeah. really good. Yeah. There's been some <sighs> test marketing. I've heard it's been really really. Good. Well, despite all the the bad reviews, uh, Batman vs Superman is on track to uh, make 170 million this weekend, which is the highest grossing Warner Brother movie of all time, beating their Harry Potter films. Wow! Wow! Now, that's not saying much because it doesn't put it. I don't think even in the top ten of all time, you know, box office weekends. And if reviews are this bad. Will it have the It'll legs down, to, yeah. yeah, yeah, to really? They say it might stay in number one for the next three or four weeks until Jungle Book opens up, and Jungle Book will probably eventually Man, take Disney is just gonna kill it. DC. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the only this will be my last podcast <laughs> <laughs> until the next one. Um, I think Warner Brothers hasn't really had a a, a major success since Bugs Bunny. To be honest Whoa. with you, Looney Tunes. <laughs> Other than that, they've been fucking losers since they bought AOL because they thought that was a good idea. Uh, no, I, I think Harry Potter I, I has Harry a little Potter something to say about that. The little that. Dark Knight trilogy was very yeah, successful. Yeah. Fair. Think, Fair. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty they, sure I lived through not actually paying to see any of those movies. <laughs> well, they, they, they got made, a phone. They, they, they made, <laughs> the library. Yeah. They made a lot of money and they won a lot no, of awards. No, that's fine. So I, I just, I think you're in the vast no, ba- I just, I'm, I'm really not convinced that Christian Bale was all that or a bag of chips. I like Get Liam. the fuck off my set. <laughs> <laughs> I like Liam Neeson as Reza Ghoul. That was very good. I liked him as as that. Wouldn't that be great if they brought him back? To play well, Raish based on my understanding, name. you you can throw just about anything in that um, in that uh, Lazarus pit, and it'll come back. So quick, that about wraps will you, will up you Batman. S- you say Denver. You say you Marky Jesus. Mark. Will you will you see Red it again? Superman. Will, will you pay money to go see Batman versus Superman again? Yes, I or would no? one more time because you know why. Every time yes we go no to the question. movies, I don't want an explanation. I plan on seeing oh, it tomorrow. Wow. She's going to Hillary. Judge, no. jury. Uh, no, I just I'm I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying answers? to transition sure. to a yes, close. Yes, I would. Thank you very much, Mark. Yes, yeah. I, I plan on seeing that tomorrow again. Okay. Q, two or three times. Absolutely. You haven't met your quota yet. Is there still details you haven't seen? I'm, I'm guessing. Of course. Okay, Richie. Only if someone else pays. There you go, Denver. I do kind of want to see it again just so I can see Rich. I missed them the first time, but How? I'll probably wait until the, the Blu-ray. It's wide that, scene on Hunter, Richie in the corner. Close up on Top Hunter, then wide scene on Hunter, Richie in the corner. So that's what you're looking for. You know what? You guys just. 
I may have to go see it again. I didn't take my wife because I was pretty sure there weren't going to be any good belly laughs. Because hey. the only reason my wife likes to go see a superhero movie is because they're funny. And since it was a Marvel, baby, I'm looking forward to podcast 15. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Not but Batman. It's got to be better than this. You know what? You guys are some haters, <laughs> man. You know, I have come in here and I've worked hard. Yeah, on you're, you're going to come back because there's going right. to be something to your oh, interest man. that you will be no, able man. to have. A, I'll, a, I'll, a I'll make a guest on, appearance. Like when Denver brings pizza. Yes, exactly. I'll make a guest appearance for the Star Trek podcast. There you go. That's about it. I'm doing the John Campy. I'm resigning from... Comments for inside five, but I'll make well, special appearances I, I'm, every now I'm and again. Fairly again. certain we won't be able to find anybody to fill your shoes or your shirts. <laughs> Megatron, check it. <laughs> hey, I take a three X two. What do I know? I don't know. Mark, what do they even make? Close your size. What do you got to get them custom made? I have to go to Omar the tent maker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Self-deprecating humor, my favorite. All right, well, this is well, the if end. If I get kicked out of my house, I know I can live in Q shirt. <laughs> Yay! Wow! <laughs> Damn! Oh, yeah, it's a three-room <laughs> condo. Oh, uh, So, everybody go to ableideas.com and buy some fucking comic books, because those are the good ones. Uh, go to Comic Spirit and Sci-Fi and watch some videos, because we're fucking funny. Um, and go watch my review. Yeah, watch Q's review. I, I actually, that was probably one of the best things about Batman versus Superman, was watching... Q's video. Thank you, Denver, for making that a cohesive you. piece you. of cinematography. It actually got of art. Smalls of to comic you. book geekdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see you, jackass. <laughs> baby, baby. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I will say uh, this about the whole process. Art in its rarest form. Is I did enjoy Q's excitement and, and enthusiasm for Batman and this movie. Yeah. Because, you know... Nowadays, it's easy to be jaded and just hate on everything. Indeed. This is Brad with Comic Experience Sci-Fi. We'll see you next time. Do you bleed? I bet. You will. My, my eyes did after watching that movie. Oh, damn. Hard. Our ears are gone after we listen to this podcast.